I want to welcome you to Garden Gnomes Etc. Here we're going to focus on one of our displays for the Universal Rocks. This is the large uh, vertical rock. And I'm going to take you back behind and show you a little bit on how we uh, supported it. Because it's uh, vertical, meaning that it's going to need some help on the back end to hold it in place. Which is not a big deal if you're into plants and climbing plants. So we have a 4x4. Four and on uh, different uh, areas, we tended to try to put some different uh, two by fours to make a hanger out of it. And we have a lattice work where we can get these beautiful passion flowers to grow on it. Um, here in zone six, these are actually a zone seven plant, but I have them planted right next to the, the basement. Um, so I should be able to get that zone 7, which should be able to overwinter these. But here, again, you can see the spectacular rock formation. Um, in the middle, there's a nice little pond where I kind of stuck some, some trolls in there. And it goes right into my own homemade, like, uh, liner basin, because that's one of the questions that I had from people. Can I use these in a, a, a using a uh, liner, EPDM rubber liner? And the answer is yes, you can, especially if you want to put a couple of these larger ones, waterfalls, together. And the way I constructed this is it's about, I don't know, 12 feet across, uh, 6 feet wide. And I, I have it about 2 feet in the middle, just a little trench where I can go in with a pond net break out the leaves but the rest of it's uh, about a foot I have a uh, perimeter where it's like a u-shape going all the way around it where it's uh, br the bricks bring the level up just enough where if this overflows all the water will come out to the flat to the grass area 